I say they won't let us in, then we breaking the doors down. I was really into hip hop. Um, I remember the first record I ever bought with my own money was Rakim 18th Letter because it was the, it was a huge display and it didn't have a parental advisory sticker on it. And I knew if I took it home, my pops would be like, what is this, you know? And it didn't have that, and I, it was the best luck decision I ever made. It, it basically groomed me as far as lyrics went, and as far as delivery went. And I got a, a, one of those interrogation uh, tape recorders that you get from Radio Shack, and I had a, a standalone tape component, so I would play stuff from the Casio keyboard, actually that keyboard right behind you. I would play stuff in that, record it on the one tape, play it all the way through for like three minutes, put it in the other tape deck, play that back, record the next piece, and then record the next piece. And then that's how I started recording. So it was like, I couldn't make mistakes, and if I did make mistakes, I learned to make it part of the situation. The same way with like visual art, when I draw, if it's a mistake, it just, you just work around it, you work it in. Mistakes are okay. Human beings make mistakes. I'm much more now, I don't even really listen to hip hop as much. I listen to a select few people um, that's coming out now. But I, I grab my influences from like electronic music and um, reggae and like jazz and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So I was born into a legacy of activism. Um, my father was an organizer. Um, he's a lot older than a normal father age. He, they were 42 and they had me. So my pops was in Vietnam, he came back, he joined the Black Panther Party, he became a, uh, a organizer at factories, union organizer, um, and, he's, and it's always been very present in my life. I got started doing music with, um, as a young kid. Well, I started really liking music, knowing that I would like, could do something in music in the church. I started out singing in the choir, and then I ended up playing drums for my church. And um, I learned how to play drums from the original drummer in our church. He was like, uh, an uncle to me or something, you know what I'm saying? But he was like the coolest cat. And I didn't really get serious about rapping until, like really serious until like sophomore year. I was in the marching band for HBCU, SWAC Division. So SWAC Division is like Southern University, Grambling University, you know, Jackson State. So I was out there with the big boys marching on the field, but I must admit, um, being in the marching band, it really helped me uh, as an artist. It helped me as a musician. I didn't really get serious about music until after I left college, and it was, it was like 2007. I started working with Children's Defense Fund in uh, 2007. Uh, before through a program called Freedom Schools, a reading enrichment program, uh, summer institute, and after school as well. And uh, it was a great experience. Uh, I got to be able to train for a week at the Alice Haley Forum to learn the uh, integrated reading curriculum that's inside of the Children's, Children's Defense Fund's Freedom Schools. So you have to learn how to, this model, and learn this curriculum. You, you're out there learning for a week with trainers from all over the world, educators, leaders, activists, and it's ran by Marion Wright Elder. Um, being out there in the heli form for that week, it changed my life forever. Justice!